Hey YouTube, so today we have a uh, function of two variables and we're going to find the partial derivatives with respect to x and with respect to y. So this is a hard problem. Um, we, it looks like we're going to have to use the quotient rule. So as a refresher, if you don't remember the quotient rule, it says if you have f over g and you take the derivative, you can think of f as the top function and g as the bottom function. So it's the derivative of the first or the top piece times the second or the bottom piece minus first times the derivative of the bottom or second over the second squared. So I think of this is first and this is second. So it's the derivative of the first times the second minus the first times the derivative of the second over the bottom of the second one squared. So here, uh, when we take this derivative, we're going to do the same thing. So del f, del x. Okay, so this is our top piece and this is our bottom piece, or first or second. So when we're taking the derivative with respect to x, we're fixing all of the y's so here, when we take this derivative, uh, we're treating y as constant. So the derivative of x is 1, so that's going to be y. That's the derivative of x1. It's the derivative of the first times the second. So far, so good. Minus the first, so just xy times the derivative of the second. So again, here, we're taking the derivative with respect to x. So the derivative of y squared is 0. This will just be 2x. All over the second piece squared. Let's check the work on that just to make sure we didn't mess up. So let's see, the derivative of the first, again, it's with respect to x. So the derivative of the first is 1, boom, and the y hangs out, times the second, minus the first, times this derivative here, but this derivative is 0, so you just get 2x. Let's clean this up and see what happens. We get y times x squared, so we get yx squared, plus y times y squared is y cubed, minus minus x squared 2x squared y all over this piece here okay and then what happens here um, oh oh looks like these guys are like terms right we have negative 2x squared y and y x squared there's a one here so we're just going to get negative y x squared right because it's one minus two is negative one and then on the bottom oh oh oh, oh plus y cubed and then on the bottom, we just have this piece. So it'd be x squared plus y squared squared. And that's the first partial derivative with respect to x. I hope that made sense. A harder example because you had to use the uh, uh, quotient rule. 